you know, you, you mentioned Brexit. And before we go to break, let's chat for a couple of minutes about that. You know, UK borrowing costs are at their lowest level because of Brexit, but the carnage in the economy continues to grow. I mean, they're predicting 75 billion pounds of losses up to 2030. And, uh, you know, any rise in interest rates is going to mean an absolute crash in the construction market. People are going to lose their homes. Um, you know, I believe it was your line, Dario. How's that freedom and sovereignty thing working out for you? Yeah, yeah that's right. You know, and Norway, at the end of the day, may veto British attempts to get a special deal. So oh, where yeah, are we with so Brexit right, right yeah. now, boys? And, you know, Carney, who's the governor, is struggling manfully. Uh, and he's just cut interest rates. But it's almost a sign of how sick the economy is by cutting interest rates, I think. And, mm. uh, you know, once they go up, that will be a real hardship. That will be yeah, a real hardship. For everybody. I mean, I think the, wor the, the worst is yet to, yet to come, really. I think that the... I mean, to be honest, it's not as bad as, as some people have predicted in the short term. But I think in the long term... It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. The, the Brexiters are looking at the, the rise of the FTSE to its highest level ever. And I'm saying, yeah, you know, you're going to look at the temporary blip in the stock market as justification for this suicidal path we're walking down. Mm. I mean, yeah. it's just <laughs> absolutely. Insane. And the thing is, as well, what, what they will do is if you think about what, why Brexit happened and the, the, the focus around immigration, right? And we will get to a point where a deal will be negotiated. We will keep some kind of access and migration will not will not change that much at all. And again, you think about it, that's the the working class, the working classes for their rightly or wrongly, the way that they voted will have been uh, completely shafted one, once more, even for voting for Brexit. So congratulations. As they often are. As they always are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>